So Apple has finally released the new Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR. And although we already knew the starting prices for both of these items, we also knew that the Mac Pro had a ton of configuration options available and that it could get pretty pricey. How pricey? Well, how does $52,748 sound? Because that's the highest configuration that you can get with the wheels and the trackpad slash magic mouse combo added to what is a pretty monstrous Mac Pro configuration. For over $52,000, you get a 2.5 gigahertz, 28 core Intel Xeon W processor, an insane 1.5 terabytes of DDR4 memory, support for two Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo graphics cards with 32 gigabytes of memory for that, and four terabytes of internal SSD storage with the eight gigabyte option coming soon. So I suppose you could spend more than $52,000, but right now this is the most that you can get at this moment. Obviously spending $52,000 on a Mac is insane for just about every one of you out there, but for production houses, audio engineers, etc., there is a market for this machine, which is why Apple made it. So this is probably a no brainer for them as it's pretty much going to give those professional users the best performance they can possibly get when working in Final Cut Pro, Cinema 4D, Logic, etc., all of those professional apps. The spec'd out Mac Pro also comes with Apple's new Afterburner card, which is specifically dedicated for users who edit videos in ProRes or ProRes RAW video codecs in Final Cut Pro. With the Afterburner card, users can blaze through 8K video files and multiple streams of 8K timelines, really without any hiccups whatsoever. It's pretty insane. Honestly, it seems like the Mac Pro is a pretty outrageous and over the top machine. And judging from the early impressions from MKBHD, I Justine, and Jonathan Morrison of TLD Today, it seems as though that notion is very highly supported. If you haven't checked out their videos, I highly recommend you go and check them out after this. But they were able to test out the 28 core 384 gigabytes of RAM with two Vega 2 GPUs and the Afterburner card model and they all seem to agree that this new Mac Pro is very fast and extremely quiet. They were also able to test out the new Pro Display XDR, which starts at $4,999 without the stand, or $5,999 with the stand. There's also a vase amount option for a couple hundred dollars available, so if you want to save yourself some money and you're going to use a vase amount, you should just pick that up. But the Pro Display XDR is something that I am personally super excited to try out. And early impressions from those reviewers that have spent the last few weeks with them is that the Pro Display XDR, especially the model with the optional $1,000 nano coating add-on, is a game changer but you definitely need to just see it in person in order to really appreciate how great it's going to look. The Pro Display XDR is a 32 inch Retina 6K monitor with up to 1600 nits of brightness and a one million to one contrast ratio. It has some pretty incredible dynamic range and it's really evident when you're hitting that 1600 nits of peak brightness. Now the monitor itself has a sustained brightness of a thousand nits which is still an insane number and something that I've never used in a monitor before. So I'm interested to see how bright this thing can really get. Now, for those who are curious on what a maxed out Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR combination will cost you, well, it's just shy of $60,000 coming in at $59,748. Now we actually have our own maxed out Mac Pro and Pro Display XDR coming. I'm just kidding. We do actually have a Mac Pro coming, but it's just the base model. But for those of you who are curious on how the Mac Pro base model performs, well, you're in luck as we should have plenty of coverage on that machine very soon. We're also going to have a few videos on how to upgrade the machine yourself. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss that video. Of course, be sure to let us know your thoughts on the new Mac Pro as well as the Pro Display XDR and whether or not you're actually planning on picking one up and what you plan on using this combination for in the comment section down below. This has been Down with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.